After learning about different culturally relevant topics as well as strategies to include culturally relevant pedagogy in my classroom, I think the first thing for me that I find to be important for myself and my students is communication and understanding. So I feel that getting to know and understand my students is the first step that I need to take to begin to assess and approach culturally relevant topics in my classroom. I want to know where my students come from, their different backgrounds, and gain a sense of what they find important and their interests and their passions and so on. And beyond getting to know my students, I think communication is a big key in helping create a better classroom environment for everybody. And I think that by explaining to students the significance and the importance of being respectful towards each other and being understanding of their different backgrounds can help achieve a better classroom communication and an environment for everybody to be in. In part with more social aspects, I also know that in order to create a culturally relevant classroom, I need to examine my curriculum and my content that I'm teaching in order to ensure that I'm including multicultural texts and works in my units and my lessons. And I hope that in including diversity within my chosen curriculum, my students will gain a better appreciation of diversity and multiculturalism and also feel as though they can relate to more of the instruction and feel like they are somehow being included and represented through the instruction and the texts that we're reading and the topics that we're discussing. And then with the amount of social justice issues that are continuing to rise in communities across the nation and the world, I think as a teacher, the best thing I can do for my students is not to ignore those matters and understand how they may be feeling if a tragedy strikes. I need to read my students and understand them and communicate with them and take a moment to assess whether or not they need to be focusing on my lesson plans and the curriculum for the day or if they should take time to reflect on the matter. I know that that will be more of a case-to-case -case basis and sometimes students may not want to talk about things or they may be confused or upset and I think that I should give them time to do so even if that's allowing them to write down how they're feeling or if it's something that's appropriate that we can have a conversation in class with. I think it's just important to know my students well enough and to give them a voice, especially in times where they may feel like they don't have one. And ultimately, I think the best thing I can do is maintaining a respectable relationship with my students and allow them to embrace their diversity within my class and do so in a healthy way that allows them to feel like they are included, represented, and that their voice is being heard.